Jimmy Madigan, they told me you were getting the Silver Bat Award, the Sultan of SWAT. Is that it? The Silver Circle Award. I am not surprised, Jim. The Warren campaign won the first coin toss. They decided to take the first question. You have been an institution, an icon on Channel 57 and uh, public uh, broadcasting. I always enjoy uh, coming on your show. Do you anticipate further legal challenges and fights from the opponents of casinos? I never take anything for granted. You do the most in-depth interviews, uh, whether good, bad, ugly, uh, controversial. You're always a gentleman and very, very well respected. It's tough to say uh, no to you, Jim. So congratulations on this well-deserved award. You are the Charlie Rose of Western Massachusetts. I kind of keep reminding myself, this is 1934 we're talking about, when you know civil rights wasn't very much on the mind of, of many Americans, certainly not a bunch of 15-year-old kids, a lot of them from Hungry Hill, here in a, in a poor neighborhood and a tough time of the Depression in Springfield. I mean, really remarkable, the human forces yes. that, that came forward in these young men. It is, it's extraordinary. And really your argument is, you can't understand one without the other because such momentous things happened in 1775, leading to summer of 76, both politically and militarily. You got it. For the end of the book, you take one presumed cancer patient, the, the Queen Atossa, yeah. the ancient Persia, yes. who apparently had breast cancer. I, I don't think it's quite certain. Yes, it's that not time, certain. That time, 500 yep. BC. And you bring her through the ages. What would have happened had she lived a little earlier than she did and up through the centuries? That, very interesting. What led you to do that? How do you think what happened, the cover-ups that happened in, in many places, how does that all impact how you now try to lead and teach and evangelize. Good evening. Welcome to WGBY-TV in Springfield for the Western Massachusetts U.S. Senate debate between the Republican candidate, Gabriel Gomez, and the Democratic candidate, Edward Markey. Our format is very simple. No opening or closing statements. Candidates have a minute and a half to answer questions. We have five candidates, just one hour. Let's get started in both the presidential and in your campaigns, I've heard the words middle class used a lot. What do you mean in terms of income levels, living standard, maybe even values? I'm gonna give everybody who's setting and watching the time about two seconds to take a breather, get reset, they're ready. Let's go. Right against the That's people time, that you're sir. actually talking about. That's time, sir. We give you an extra 10, we'll, we'll do the same. Ms. Warren, 40 okay. seconds. Very good, I'll, I'll give you each 15 seconds more. And as the Boston That's, Globe says, he really delivers for Wall Street. That's where we're coming up on time. I owe you, believe it or not, five seconds, Senator. Thank you, <laughs> Thank you Jim. I'd like to start right now. <laughs> five seconds. I'm timing it. Please. I'm, I'm going to remind the audience, it only takes time away, literally, when you applaud a line from your candidate, it takes time away from them. Please don't. Last instruction for everybody watching, doesn't make any sense to have invested an hour with us tonight unless you go out and vote on Tuesday, November 4th. Thanks for watching. Good night from Springfield.